I figured why not go and try to find our very own fishing lures. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's poop. Oh, we got it. Watch, he's running on water. Oh my God. First cast of the bait. Go. Oh my God. Oh, I knew it. Oh my God. This is a, such a freaking school right now. What is poppin' Izzy fam? Welcome back to another episode of Ryan is Fishing. Today, we have a very interesting video in store for you, but before we jump into the video, I gotta show you these awesome lures I just got. These are legit the coolest lures I've ever seen. Let's just... I literally don't have any fishing lures. Oh my God. So as you just saw, I don't have any fishing lures, but what is the Izzy fam gonna do? Are we just gonna go home and not fish? Or are we gonna go find our own fishing lures? We're at a very popular fishing spot right by my house. So I figured why not go and try to find our very own fishing lures? We're only gonna be able to fish with the lures that we find today. We're gonna go hop around here and see if we can find some fishing lures or just anything that we can maybe make into a fishing lure. Let's go see if we can find our own fishing lures. Let's just hop down here real quick. Let's look around. Oh my God, do you see that fish? Is... Oh, Jesus lizard. Look at the Jesus lizard. Oh, come here. Watch, he's running on water. You see him just run on water like that? That was so freaking cool. Oh, tons of activity, but not what we're after today. We're trying to find some fishing lures. So let's just walk around and see if we can find some. Oh my God. Is that what I think it is? Coronavirus! First potential option of the day is this Mentos can right here. I don't think there's anything in it. I don't really want to touch it, but we could use that plastic and kind of make like a little jig out of it. I'm not too sure. That is a potential option. Unfortunately, there's just a whole bunch of trash. I want to come back here one day, just literally clear all this trash out of here. But this is the hot spot. This is where I want to take you guys though. And just look down. I mean, there's just freaking fish everywhere, but I always see people fishing here. So I'm kind of hoping maybe they left something. <gasps> oh, yo, I think this is going to work guys. We have a little tin can right here. I think we're gonna be able to make this into some sort of lure to catch a fish for us today. All right guys, so first find of the day is that little tin can and that is gonna be a little challenge. But check it out guys, so this is gonna be the next spot we're gonna be looking for lures at. This is actually in my neighborhood, the little pier here. People always fish over here. I think there's a good possibility that we might stumble upon a fishing lure or two over at the pier over there. Let's hop out the truck. And let's go find some lures. All right, guys, we're on the chest cam now. Got the big camera right here. And this is the pier we're going to be looking for lures at. What is this? Is that a weight? I don't even know what that is. Is that a Senko right there? I think I see a Senko over there. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that. That is a good sign. Hopefully, we'll be able to get that later. I'm just going to walk down here, see if there's anything. <gasps> You've got to be freaking kidding me. Oh my God, this is a, such a freaking score right now. Look at this freaking top water. Check this thing out. I am so stoked. I did not expect to... Okay. I am literally so shocked right now that we're able to find this lure right here. Check out this little top water popper. I think this is like a storm right here. The water levels are pretty low all around me, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to get a fish on this today. Find number two was an absolute score. All right, guys, so we're walking up on the next spot. Oh my God, look at this giant bird. There's two giant birds. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there they both go. Oh my God, they spooked something huge in the lily pad. All right, so I keep getting distracted by birds. This is a spot, I mean, probably the most fish spot on this whole lake besides that pier. Definitely more fish now because no one is even allowed on that pier. I didn't even know that. I think people are throwing a cast net here a lot because of all this dried up allergy. What is that? Okay. I found this weird thing. Uh, that's an option for sure. Don't know what that is. There's a Band-Aid right there. Is that a worm? <gasps> Dude, yo, we just found a worm. Look. Okay, that is awesome. We just found a little worm right here. It looks like a zoom or something, but not in the best condition. I think if like we make a bad cast on this thing, it's gonna flap the hook. That is our second official lure find of the day. Oh, oh, what is this thing? Oh, that's poop. Oh, that's poop. That's freaking poop. Oh, thank God I have hand sanitizer in the car. That was just, that was an epic fail right there. 
All right, we're gonna go hop and try this side real quick. <gasps> Yo, what in the freaking heck is going on, folks? A giant worm right here. And that, as you can see, has been used a lot. I mean, beaten. And looks like it's been sitting here a long time. Double find, double find. We found this. That, that might come into play too. I think I might combine this with our first find. I'm trying to make like a little jig out of this. Who knows? I mean, I'm just thinking two finds here. I'm stoked right now. We got that tiny little half finesse worm and we got a beat up curly tail worm. All right, now we're getting into some sauce here. All right, guys, we are back here. Where it all started. We're at the canal once again. And it is time to look at the lures that we're gonna be fishing with today. So first thing first, I feel we need to start from hardest down to the easiest. This is gonna be the most challenging bait today, which is this little piece of a tin can right here. We found this awesome topwater popper right here, as well as both of these all plastic worms. We have this big curly tail worm, little trick worm. So we have four baits today that we're gonna use to catch fish. Now, before we get into the fishing, it is time to talk about our giveaway for today's video. So I'm gonna be giving away these 3.75 inch Rage Swimmers as well as the Strike King Game Hogs right here. I'm also gonna give away this little sick topwater popper. Now all you guys have to do is smash that like button. We need to get 2,000 likes on this video. And I want you guys to drop a comment down below. Let me know your dream fishing destination and which lure that we found today was your favorite. That's all you have to do. And of course, be subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. But that is enough talking. It is time to make this into a fishing lure. So my idea with this is to maybe bend this into a shape of a lure. And I think I just have the perfect idea to do it carefully. There we go. Literally perfect. And that is what we're left with right here. And this is gonna be our lure. All right, guys, so we're gonna be fishing right by this tunnel. There's beds everywhere. Oh my God, there's a good bass right there too. Well, there is tons of fish around. There's a little current flow right here too. Oh, a giant shell cracker. There's a bunch of different species here. And we're just gonna toss this little DIY spoon out there and hopefully make something happen. <gasps> a big bass just came out of the tunnel right there. All right, don't fall, Ryan. Okay, we are here. There's just so many fish. I don't know how they're gonna react to this. I'm hoping that there's a few aggressive ones. Most of these fish spook. Oh my God, he's chasing it. Get it. They're chasing it like crazy, but they're just not committing to it. Come on. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. He freaking swiped at it. Oh yeah, that is what I want to see. I see hundreds of babies right here. He's not too happy. Come on. Oh my God, they're all over it. Oh, he freaking bit it. Again. Here we go. There it is, baby. Oh my God. Yes. Guys. Oh my gosh. I am so freaking stoked right now. Look at that hanging out of his mouth. From trash to fishing lure. That is how we freaking do it. That was a lot more challenging than I anticipated it being. I'm actually gonna try to catch one more on this thing. Oh no, don't go yet. Let's go release you, buddy. There he goes. Holy cow. Whew. Freak yeah, baby. I'm so stoked. Let's see if we can catch another one. All right, guys, day two. We are back here again. And I said I was not satisfied with just catching one on this. Today, the wind is blowing, so there's not a lot of cover, which is not really a good thing. But I think we can catch one if we just find one that'll eat. Oh my God, a bat just ate something right here. Literally just crushed a bluegill right there. Let's see if he'll eat this little thing right here. Come on, come get it. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, he literally just tried to freaking destroy the can opener. Where'd he go? Where'd he go, where'd he go? Bro, oh, I see him, I see him. This bat, I think he's gonna eat this can opener. Come on, 
Come get it. The bass tried to eat the can open. Get it. Boys, I cannot believe it. We might get one. Come on. There it is, baby. Oh my God. Oh! Gosh! Please. There it is, baby. Freak yeah, come on, stay hooked. Stay hooked. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at this beautiful cichlid. <laughs> I am so stoked. We had a goal in mind, which was to catch two on this little piece of garbage right here. This little lure that we made. And we did it, boys. We absolutely freaking did it. Look at the colors on that cichlid real quick. Beautiful blue, orange, teal. Pop the hook out. Oh, and he's gonna release himself. Not the most graceful release, but we're out here for about two hours, casted some fish. We almost caught that big bass on top water right there. We're gonna go to the land of giants and we're gonna see if we can catch some fish on baits that we found. What is up guys? So we are now at the land of giants. We completed the first lure, which was the little bottle cap. And we actually caught two fish on that. And we got three more lures. We got that top water popper, the big worm, and the little tiny worm that we found. And joining me on today's fishing adventure, we got two awesome subscribers. We got Anna, we got Alec. So the goal today is to see how many fish we can catch on the baits that we found. Honestly, if we can catch one fish a piece on each of the baits, that'd be awesome. I also got some other lures in my bag just in case we run out of the baits. I still wanna catch some fish. And we're out here today. You guys know if you watch my videos, this spot has massive fish. So guys, we're gonna hop on the chest cam and we got some fish to catch. This is the bait that we found at the fishing spot. And it's kind of broken right here, but I think it's still gonna be able to catch a fish. I mean, I think this is gonna get absolutely destroyed. And hopefully it's not by a little one. But seriously, check out the water levels in here. This is the lowest I've ever seen the water ever. Make our first cast. As soon as we find out where the fish are, it's gonna be game on. Oh my gosh, look what I just found. I literally just found a worm right here walking. So I guess this technically means I can use this too. So we just found another lure while fishing. Did you just find a bait? Yeah. You did? Oh my God, look what Anna just found. We just found another lure just sitting on the floor. So now we have another bait. Oh, there it is. The fish just picked it up. Oh, come on, get it. No, I just lost him. I just lost him. Ah, oh, that was our only weight that we had too. Well, fortunately we found another big worm on the floor by chance and we ended up just putting it on a little jig head just like this. It's not gonna be as presentable to the fish, but they're still gonna eat it. I already know that they're gonna eat it, but look how crazy this is. This is literally, so dried up here. Let's see if we can get bit on this. Oh, oh my God, just had one. There it is, he came back for it. Oh, that's a better one. Oh yeah, baby, there we go. Oh, look how fat that thing is. Oh my God, my line just broke. What the heck? Stay on the bank, baby. Oh my gosh. Well, first fish of the day on our recycled lures here. This fish is so chunky. Look at this dude, he's been eating good. Oh my God, his stomach is filled. One more look at this dude before we release him. That is awesome, guys. You don't need to go to the store to buy baits. Look around at your local pond and see what you can catch on them. There you go, buddy. Gone. That is awesome. Right here in this little corner. I think there are gonna be some fish. What was that? 
Oh my God. Fish are legit blowing up. Come on. Oh, we got it. That was the fish that blew up. He seems better. Get him again, Sing him again. That was awesome, oh my God. He ate this thing on top water. Come here, baby. Oh, it's a fatty. That's a good sign for our top water bait. Beautiful largemouth bass. These fish are all over the bank right now. Let's switch out our bait. So let's reach in the old pocket here. See what else we got. All right. You got this little like trick shot worm thingy majigger. That bait right there is looking good. I think that's gonna get him. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, this is awesome. Come over here, baby. Oh yeah. On the little finesse worm bait, check that out. That is so sick. I think it is time to tie on the top water. Let's go put it on. All right guys, it is time to put on our top water bait that we found. This thing is literally tangled all up in braided line and so we're gonna clean it up real quick with some scissors, take all this line off of it. And we're gonna see if these fish are hungry. I know that they're gonna eat top water because they're blowing up like crazy on minnows right now. I just hope we can land the fish on the little rod that we have. So this is the bait right here. We cut all the line off of it. It's looking super fire. See how it works in the water. It's just gonna make giant gurgles probably. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see if it gets eight. Oh. Oh my God. First cast of the bait. Are you kidding? Literally the first cast of this bait. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. First cast with this bait right here. Hooked him right in the lip. Look at that <laughs> on freaking top water. I knew that they were gonna be smoking them. Let's get back out there. All right guys, we're continuing to work this little top water right here. And so far we've had a decent amount of blow ups on this thing, which is crazy to me because the water levels are so low. But these fish, man, they're aggressive. Oh my God, get it, come on, come on. Let's go. Oh my God, that was crazy. Get on the bank, baby. Oh my God. This thing went out of the weeds and crushed this top water. Come here, baby. Look at that. What an eat. <sighs> Cannot beat a top water bite right there. Oh, this is the catch right here. Oh my God, at the last second, stay pinned. This seems like a good one. Get up on the bank, baby. Oh my God. Literally when you least expect it. Right when I was about to pull it out of the water, he slammed it. Look at that dude. Top water hanging right out of his mouth. Pop that hook out. Let's go ahead and release the beautiful fish. See you, buddy. All right, guys, so we're walking up on this corner right now. Oh my gosh, fish are blowing up. Oh, I knew it. I knew it right in the corner. So look again. Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. Oh, it's a big one. That's, a, that's the biggest one of the day. 100%. Don't spit the hook. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that one right there. Look at that bucket mouth right there. Spawned out. Holy cow. That right there is what we're gonna end the day on. If this fish had a little more meat on him, she'd probably be maybe five, six pounds. I'd put her right at close to four. That's a good one right there. Get out of here, big girl. There she goes. 
That is awesome. All right, guys, that is going to wrap us up for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Unfortunately, we caught a lot more fish in this video, but my GoPro, literally, I recorded most of the fish catches and time lapse. I caught like five or six more fish in this video. But if you did enjoy it, smash that like button. If we get 2,000 likes on today's video, we will do a part two. No and don't. Connected. And don't forget to enter my giveaway. I'm giving away all those awesome lures and that cool topwater popper that we found. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and answer the questions. What is your dream fishing destination and which lure I found today was your favorite? Answer that in the comments down below and you are entered to win those awesome lures. But I do hope that you enjoyed today's awesome video. I know I had fun making it. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. But that is all I got for you in today's epic fishing adventure. Phone connected. What is going on with this truck? But that's it, guys. I'm signing off and we'll catch you in the next one. Keep on fishing!